Hey, son! Hi, father. You wanna bake some cookies as a family? Yes, father. Let's go! The little things in life are what matter. I like my cookies. Just how I like my people. All different shapes, sizes, and colors. We don't discriminate. This is Roger Lewis reporting from the campaign trail. And I've been getting a few questions as to why I'm fit to be president of the United States. Now let me just tell you. I got my bachelor's in political science from American University. How much more American? does it get? Now, I went straight from college right into that White House and worked as a custodian, just an internship, unpaid, because I wanted to get the experience before I became New York State Senator. I started mopping up vomit from the first family, and now I'm going to be head of the free world. So if you want me to take America from mopping up the world's vomit, to running this world. Vote for me. Roger Lewis. So that's why I have three nipples. <gasps> Helen here from CNN, and this is future president Roger Lewis. So Roger, what are your plans for the future health care of this nation? Well, Helen, I am a dip. So my views on healthcare are obviously more left-wing than the average American. But I feel like it could benefit all of us if we take the profit motive out of the healthcare sector. It, it can't be privatized. It needs to be for the good of America. We can't have big countries. So you say you're a people's man. I am a people's man. And I want to make the people happy and I want them to live and I promise if I get elected to implement a new form of universal health care not Obamacare it's not gonna raise your deductibles no everyone is gonna be insured people are not gonna have to worry about being covered and it's gonna help everybody especially you Joe Joe thoughts sounds great to me Helen me too. So, Roger, thoughts on future immigration policy? Well, I know you feel strongly. I do feel strongly. My wife is actually an immigrant. Oh man, is she beautiful. Oh man. Oh man. Well, if you look statistically at immigration, immigrants that come here legally, and legal immigrants, of course, is what I favor. We can't have illegal immigrants coming across the border. But with my plan, that won't be a problem. Statistically, if you look at immigrants, they take in less than they put out, meaning they pay more in taxes than they receive in services. So really, if you look at immigration, it is beneficial to this country. They're not taking our jobs. Look at the stats, people. We're gonna put them into jobs that are gonna benefit working class Americans and are gonna benefit America as a whole. <laughs> and Helen, that's what I love about this country. Anyone can come here, anyone can work hard, and anyone can succeed. That's the American dream right there. It is the American dream. I remember me and my grandfather, Larson Pichotti, and Yadda D, if you know him well. We used to come down by the water and, oh, we used to fish for hours. My grandmother, my lawn, used to come down and, if 
bring us a nice iced tea and lemonade with our little doggy. Oh, man, it was adorable. And we used to catch so many fish. And I remember right before he died. Yachty. We came down here and we fished one last time. He was sick. No comment. And we didn't catch anything. And I remember looking into the water. Into the water that used to be crystal clear blue. And just seeing a fog. And it turned green and gray. It's not as beautiful as it used to be. The fish are gone. The shellfish are gone. The hope is gone. So that's what kind of prompts me with my views on the environment that we need to save the environment. Climate change is not a hoax. 99% of climate scientists and scientists in general agree with it. Why are we saying it's a hoax? It's clear. We know it's happening. We know we're contributing to it. We need to fix it. And I have a plan. We're going to convert more towards clean energy open up jobs in the clean energy sector. And then, rest in peace, Yachty, the environment will change. I'm going to be president one day. And with your vote, I can make my dream a reality. We are standing here under our beautiful American flag to talk about Roger Lewis's future military plans when he becomes president. Roger? I don't know what to say. I'm standing here in awe of the brave men and women. I see you women who serve in our military every day. And we gotta bring them home. They need to live, they need to survive. They need to come home to their families. Come home to their open arms so they can accept them alive and safe and sound. That's beautiful. Thank you for asking Helen, I plan to do this by Imposing a policy of less imperialistic nature and more, we need to protect ourselves before we f protect others. We gotta perfect what we have in this beautiful country before we go out and risk the lives of beautiful men and women. Americans. Young, brave, fearless Americans reserve the American dream. That's all for today, folks. Thank you. Roger Lewis, your future president. Hmm. Hello. This is Roger Lewis, future president of the United States of America. Now, why should you vote for me? What makes me the best candidate that there is? Well, I'm a man of the people. I am going to support working class, middle class Americans who are going to prosper under my administration. I'm going to change America for the better. I'm going to work bipartisan. I'm going to, I've done it before. I can go across the aisle and fix and mend polarizing topics like gun legislation or education or health care. I can compromise so we don't have to fight and we can actually get real effective progress done. I'm Roger Lewis and I'm going to change the world because the little things in life are what matter. So if you want to see me, 
change the world if you want to change the world together. Vote for me on election day. Roger Lewis. Help, I found it, I can't get up. Who is that? It's me, a possible voter. Get up. It's okay. Get up. Uh, ah! 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 I'm gonna save him just like I'm gonna save America. Yeah! Thank you, Roger Lewis. Remember. The little things in life are what matter. Vote for me! Roger, are you okay? Future president. Are you okay there, sir? Strong and resilient man right here. How are you, sir? Hi, nice Roger to meet you. Roger Lewis, future president. You have my vote. I should have yours, too. Hi, this is Roger Lewis, reporting with the guy Patreon. And recently I've been getting a few questions regarding some of my plans of action. Now, I've been getting asked, how am I going to go into opposition favorite states and win those said states? Well, I have a very clear and well thought out plan for you. So this is my plan. In the regions that are going to be said Republican dominated, I'm going to go into that region after meticulously looking at each specific area of focus for each region that the people care about. I'm going to discuss only the important issues. And my opponent's policies and that region may be favored. I'm going to try to hurt them as much as possible and really nail down why their policies regarding those important issues are just absurd because we all know the Republicans. They got some crazy thoughts. I mean, it's not going to be very hard. So. This is Roger Lewis, reporting from the camp in jail, and I'm going to see you soon. How am I, Roger Lewis, going to win, win those swing states, those deciding election states? This is how I'm going to do it. I, Roger Lewis, am going to win the swing states by focusing more on the concerns of those regions in each state. So if I visit a state with say five major regions, I'm gonna find the five main issues that are relevant to those set areas. And I'm gonna do that with every swing state. So I can be sure that my opponent does not cover those issues in the depth and clarity that I cover them. And if I do that, well, then I'll win those swing states. And if I do that, then the people will see that I know what they want. And when I know what they want, I'm gonna be the president of the United States of America. So vote for me, Roger Lewis. I know what you want. Hehehe <laughs>